In honor of drunk science, I'm gonna take a shot dedicated to the Flash, who famously said, I'm fast as fuck. He would've if he could've. Here we go. Hi guys, welcome. This is Drunk Science and I am Drunk Candace. It's all about the theme. This is where we do simple science while drunk. Today's experiment is about slime. Drunk science! So this is how you make slime. You are going to take one part water and one part glue and you're going to put it into a Ziploc bag. The Ziploc bag is very important because you'll see later, mind your business. And then, oh, drip drop, a teaspoon of borax to an entire cup of water. Dump, because I don't care, I'm a rebel. And what colors do you like? I, my favorite color is purple, but I'm really drunk and I really don't think that I can confidently make purple color. You know what, forget it. You know what, down with convention, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna put, I like really royal purple, so I'm gonna put two drops of blue. One, two, did I put two? I put you two. You put two. And then I'm gonna put can I do a half drop? That's probably stupid, I can't do a half drop. No, you can't. One drop of purple. That's red. <laughs> there it is, okay. So, this is so simple, guys. So I'm gonna roll this off of the glass, which looks like scotch. This is actually a really short tumbler glass, but you're gonna close it up. Easy peasy. You're gonna need it, oh, oh shit. Popping out. Okay, wait. Got it, got it, it's okay, it's okay folks, calm down. Oh my God, look how purple that is. So you're gonna knead it all together. I'm making purple slime. I feel like a song is appropriate. I'm making purple slime, purple, purple, slimy as hell. Wait, that had no, oh my God, we, sh okay, never mind. Sorry guys, it's gonna feel really gross, but also oddly satisfying. So just like go with it. So it's sort of like a mixture now. We're just gonna, just gonna get it go at. What is the sentence I'm trying to say, Rebecca? We're gonna take it out. We're gonna take it out and we're gonna put it in our hands and knead it like we're making biscuits, but we're not gonna eat this because that would be gross. So out this comes. <laughs> How many of you saw this and was like, oh my God, I'm eight years old again. I know like a bunch of you. It's fine, admit it, admit it in the comments. It's fine, I'm with you. I'm also kind of an eight year old. I'm not gonna say my real age because it's fine. Here we go, right next to the flesh. Into this beautiful purple mess and now you have this, this gacky, gross, also extremely cool, Slime. This is basically gonna do whatever the fuck it wants. That's science, guys. Why is this happening? Cause why you tuned in for science? And to see me drunk. I'm not here to judge you, but I'm gonna give you the science that you want. That's what the people want. The people want the science. Why is this happening? Why is it perfect? Because blue and red mix, pay attention. Why is this happening? Because polymers. Okay, so the polymers in the borax slime are covalent. This is chemistry, guys. They are covalent, which means the bonds are sharing electrons with each other in order to remain stable. So they're a big sharing family, just like our YouTube family. So like you guys have a lot in common, like it's fine. So that means within the molecules of slime, there are strong bonds, but outside of the molecules of, of slime, be but, but outside the molecules of the slime, there are weaker bonds. So the bonds within the molecules are stronger than the bonds outside of the molecules, basically molecules bonding with each other, and those are weaker 
hydrogen bond. So basically when you do something low energy, like make, like just, I don't know, just letting gravity do its work. Uh, so you're gonna have those weaker hydrogen bonds. They're gonna stick together. They're going to not break when you just sort of let gravity do its thing. But you apply a little bit of higher energy to it, like let's say my own muscular strength, because let's be honest, I have bulging guns. Bop! It's gonna break apart almost like a saw. There's little tears in the slime right now. It breaks the hydrogen bonds. So, boop, done. You have a very clean break versus letting it sort of flow. That's really zen. That's really zen. Chemistry is cool. I think that's the whole point of this. Oh wow, look how purple it is. It's so pretty. And you know what, it's not that pretty. It needs to be more purpler. It's too gray. I don't care. This is not the first time a polymer-based substance, <laughs> this is not the first time polymer-based substances has been used in science. That's right guys. Silly motherfucking putty. Silly putty with aliens in it. I'm kidding. I don't know if there are aliens in the first city putty. Silly putty. Look how cool this is. This little alien guy, and he's like, I'm chilling. It's fine. Oh my God. He's so gross. So silly putty acts sort of the same way. It doesn't flow the same way slime does. But if you put a lot of energy on it, it will break the same way slime does. Silly Putty was an accident. This alien man seems very intentional. Silly Putty is also a polymer-based substance, which is similar to slime. Slime flows a little bit more, but you see what I'm talking about. So basically, this is another, a more famous based polymer-based substance. Ba it's a substance. Polymer-based substance is silly putty. That's right. This is science. It's fine. It's fine. Astronauts actually use this during Apollo uh, 8 to keep things organized because it's super sticky. And if you don't have gravity, annoying ass gravity pulling down on your silly putty, it can hold stuff pretty efficiently. And silly putty's not that expensive because a lot of people don't use it. So they use this to keep their tools organized. So, I, so you know, science mistakes can still contribute to really great science things. The point is Apollo astronauts are really cool and silly putty is really cool and making slime is almost like being an Apollo astronaut. You're basically an Apollo astronaut if you make purple slime. Enjoy your slime and your putty and know they're polymer-based substances and that they are covalent bond substances. Can you eat this? Thank you guys for joining me for another episode of Drunk Science where I make slime and putty my earrings. Mind your business. If you wanna see more Drunk Science, it's fine, you can. Just donate. We will be bringing you Drunk Science until we physically can't anymore. We are so dedicated to your entertainment and education. Please subscribe and come back and see us when we post again. Thank you, bye.